products also and you know but these are the major chunk million tons or minimum 100000 ton so pta is also the majorly used before it was used by dimethyl terephthalate dmt and now it is even the fipco was making in iran so they approached me so many times but you know erratic supply is also not acceptable because sometimes you will supply sometimes shut down sometimes raw material prices issue so if we have i think dmt plant is closed now in iran but now pta if there are big uh, capacities i think we can do a, a good job into this and you can get a 100000 tons contracts also so which is pta so pta is required for polyester staple fiber and polyester filament yarn and then pet pet bottles you know pet chips and pet bottle growth is going to grow like anything why because it is reusable and because recycling is very much required these days so we can get into uh, this pta product and it will really get into the you know uh, get going from 6 million ton requirement in india it will go to the almost double 10 to 12 million tons and they will also expand and put 1 1 million ton each plant but that will not be sufficient because they are exporting also india is the biggest exporter of the staple fiber and uh, uh, you know filament yarn also china is exporting a lot but you have a raw material you give it to us and we make it more and more and this is how the it can work or if you want to put polished staple fiber and yarn you make the collaboration with indian companies and you put your plant and make the things because we have to go ahead of you know what we are selling today so uh, next time i want that you know at least two three companies start thinking about trading this product and two three companies start putting the plants because it takes three four years time to get on to the street so you have a huge market you have 200 countries to sell i always say 200 countries but india is one country those consumption is huge huge because of the population and the you know uh, the lifestyle is increasing everybody wants good things in the life so PTA is a wonderful product for you to target. Isopropyl alcohol is a solvent and which is also made from propylene. So if you have propylene, you can put up a plant, we can give you the technology. Or if you have the product, you can send this product to India. There are about uh, uh, 200,000 to 300,000 tons demand and this will go to 500,000 demand into India. So you have uh, around say 10 to 20,000 tons coming every uh, every month into India. So this is a wonderful product and during the pandemics this product if you are mixing with the water do you are diluting but it is going to sanitize it will kill the fungus and other bacteria. So such a wonderful product and it is being extensively used and Deepak fertilizer is the major producer of that. So all this conceptual thinking we met 20 years back when I was doing a business development in Deepak fertilizer. Because when you cannot sell your product, you export or you invent new and new application in the sense like uh, alternate fuel, MTB, uh, methylamine or methylamine to DMF, DMF to... So it will go on making different downstream products. Phenol is a very, again, important product. I don't think uh, Iran is making this product. So we can give you the export because you need to have, you know, balancing act. So if you import this product, now India is also still short of 100, 200,000 ton. But definitely in coming time, the, you know, the facilities will come up. And uh, phenol is also used into sterilization. It is used in the Listerine mouthwash and uh, it makes uh, totally, you know, so this is uh, the different things coming up. And, uh, you know, those who have uh, got the paralysis and kind of things and it is injected in the bones, and uh, this can work and it can start the you know nervous system and sending so these are the specialty application but phenol is traditionally used into phenol formaldehyde resins right so this is the resins is the biggest market for the phenol and uh, uh, other uh, other resins are also manufactured from that cyclohexane is manufactured from that Another downstream is manufactured, caprolactam is manufactured, nylon 6 is manufactured. So there are so many downstream products. So if you go into, and when I will tell you, when you are going to target these products, please try to see first reverse. What is the end use? If it is used in the paints, how many walls are there in your country? How many will be uh, painted with the alkyd resin? How many will the acrylic polymer? 
you know, acrylic paints or different kind of paints, polyurethane paint, and then go backwards. So you will not go much wrong because there is so, so much hidden demand. And we find that there is, we don't know how many applications are there. Because at least once in a two years, five years, we are painting the walls and, you know, the different materials. Suppose alkyl resin usage is going down, you can get into acrylates, butyl acrylate, ethyl acrylate. So that plant also can be put in across or we can import or you can export, right? And next is acetic acid. So acetic acid, we used to import from uh, basically Iran also previously, but nowadays it is shifted all to China and because China is, you know, making the huge capacities of methanol, it requires the methanol. Earlier it was uh, produced from the natural, uh, you know, the sugar cane uh, process and uh, were manufactured into acetic acid. But now the uh, market is about 1 million ton, 10 lakh ton into India. It will go to 2 million ton. And hardly there is only one manufacturer, GNFC, uh, BP technology is there. From methanol, they are making this product. So we have, you know, a potential of 1 million ton almost to get this product. And why we are not getting into that? There may be the blockades, but we can remove that. It is not a problem. Whatever the solution, we can sit across and uh, we can discuss it out. And you are sitting in Iran. You are doing one product. You can do these 10 products or more than that. You have the suppliers. Just get get us the you know consistent supplier and they, they should be you know bonded to give in the sense once we decide a sure shot shipment and the good quality product. And this price is around 500 to $600 product like methanol is 300 to 400 dollar. So this will be, you know, the best of the uh, product from Iran. So acetic acid is major product. Also the PTA is a major product. And uh, we'll see some more. Methanol. Of course, the methanol is the, you know, the best product to get it from Iran, basically. And also we are getting from the, up to from the New Zealand. And so many countries are giving this methanol. I think Saudi is also manufacturing. So the requirement is, you know, when uh, I was in Deepak Fertilizer in 1994, we were unable to sell even 100,000 ton. So we, uh, uh, when I joined, I said, it's not going to be immediately overnight this market, but we exported. And then we, we go, gone into several downstream products. We educated the customer, not only to make formaldehyde, but make the pentyrethritol, paraformaldehyde, hexamine, then hexamethylene tetramine, which is, you know, the Pinsland, uh, coal blasting, uh, you know, the product. So you have to look for and develop and educate the customer so they get into the downstream products and we can get this, uh, you know, the demand increase. So methanol, which was not even, you know, 400,000 or 300,000 ton, we are able to export from India. Today we are importing about 2.5 to 3 million tons because the gas price is so high and you have a you know, definite advantage of gas price. So please, please concentrate on this product if you want to earn money. I want to earn money. If you don't give, I'll go to another country. So better, you know, we have to got awakened and really, uh, this is a gold mine I'm telling you. You can do up to $10 billion business uh, into these products. But even if we take 10% of that, is okay, $1 billion, not bad, right? and trading and what you require is whatever the LC facilities or cash facility and you have a market ready made even if you make five dollar you know as a trading or even two dollar and for a manufacturer twenty thirty dollar I think is a good amount of money you can expand and I would say that so many bitumen and other petro products uh, manufacturers are here why don't you diversify why don't you get trading contracts from the existing manufacturer if they are government companies and there are restrictions Get into this lot, get these agencies, and come to us. We'll sit across that, yes, we have, uh, you know, one million ton supplier, and we can supply you, and we have here the customers. We can make matchmaking, and we can start the business. And this consignment minimum is five to 10,000 ton, and it can go up to 20, 30,000 ton. You should flood the market. Why we are not uh, I'm, uh, unable to, you know, uh, understand that why we are ignoring this market? Or you, you get me over there, if you're not interested, I will source from your manufacturers and get into this. So methanol has got a tremendous applications. We'll show you at the end the slide, one product, how much deep you have to go and study the product so automatically the demand will take place 
over the period of 10 years. So this 3 million ton definitely can go up to the 10 million tons in India in next 10 years' time if we all work together. If we don't give the supply, they will go for alternate products. They will go for ready-made, you know, manufactured product. So we need to really focus on methanol, acetic acid, and uh, PTA, and this kind of product, which are bulk. And then telling anhydride and other products, which are small quantities available, because we have to move the container load also. We have to move the bulk also. The vessels can be also got made simultaneously, because if there is a huge market, continuously vessel can run. And it is possible. Then MEG, <clears throat> MEG, like, you know, PTA plus MEG makes a polyester fiber and staple fiber. So you require, suppose a 6 million ton PTA is required, then you require at least 40% of that. So around 2.5 million tons of MEG. Now suppose we are making two and a half uh, capacity, but two million ton or we are exporting MEG, you have a one million ton chance to get into this. And once you take up the product, you see the internal demand in your country, what is excess available, and accordingly we can check that Suppose 1 million ton is there and you have 500,000, we can do this 500,000 entire business also if possible. Make a tie up with the existing company also, those who are making, and we can try to give you the more and more. Then is the mix xylene. The mix xylene is another solvent which is totally in demand into India, and this product will have to uh, get into the several applications of paints and printing inks and pesticides. So this product is also demand and it is available, I think, from Middle East countries. So please try to get into that. Yeah. So uh, what are the silent fees? Do we have five, ten minutes? We, we can show the yeah, silent features. So capital is safe because there is a demand ready available. What are the returns? We expect four to six percent per transaction. It can be more also. And when the fluctuations are there, Maybe you can store it for some time, and then when the prices go up in two, three months' time, you can again come back. So it can go up to even 10% re, you know, returns when the prices are shoot up due to some reason and you have a stock already made from the uh, cheaper raw material. <clears throat> then growing demand of petrochemicals, according to me, because after this COVID wave is gone now, after one or two years, it will catch up now, which is 6 to 8% now, which will go to 8 to 10%. So almost everything will get doubled. Right, and consumption in India, there is ready, you know, uh, manpower available and they are going to consume more and more. So demand supply gap import is 10 million metric ton. Suppose there is a requirement of 25 million metric ton. This is a very important slide that how much big market is. And even if you take a thousand dollar price, so thousand dollar multiplied by, you know, 10 million tons. So you can imagine it's a, such a huge volume uh, we can see that amount-wise also, and after a decade, it will go to 22 million ton. So though the capacities of refineries are expanding to 45, 50 million tons, but they will not suppose do much properly, then this 22 million ton can go up to 30, 35 million ton. So this is a very safe site. It will go up to such a big level. Potentially volume, as we said, it is today's current rate of dollar, 64,000 crores in rupees. So you can divide by 80 and you can see the how big is the volume. And after the decade, so $1,000 is the price you can take and afterwards crude oil and all these prices go up and $1,200, it will go to 2,22,000 crores. So around 400 times, you know, increase of the market is waiting for you. So you start today and you can really mint the money. So. These are the companies like Deepak Fertilizer where I worked and we just started exporting and then importing and the trading division had a huge turnover of 2,000 crore four or five years back. So now they are also a manufacturer and trading company also and they are doing for their own IP and other products trading. Then CJ Shah, Jupiter, Daikem, Son Kamal Industries, JP Daikem, Ketul Chemical, PK Industries, Shubham, Kundan Rice, South India also, Pure Chemicals. So these are, but no, more companies are really targeting. There is so much big quantities are available. So everyone has got a scope, right? So these are traditional, you can say, the manufacturer. So what investment required? So you need to have a LC limit, maybe $1 million 
to $10 million to $100 million, and you can get four times turnover is a simple formula. Because you can at least rotate the shipments four or five times in a year, and with this, you have to make the LC and CC limit, where is the cash, cash transaction, so you require the cash credit limit. <clears throat> so maybe you can start with one or two products, and you can go on making add-on the products, and this list is up to 100 products, you can go up to this kind of product. So good scope for petrochemical company, and uh, at this juncture, because only 10 to 15 big companies are there. <clears throat> so long-term planning and sufficient fund flow, LC and CC limit, as we said, if uh, you don't have uh, prerequisite knowledge, you can hire a consultant or you can go through the market research as available. Actually, see, don't go by just because I have said. You go into the details, market research, and how these products are required, and how much is the demand, and how we can get into this product faster. <clears throat> and dedicated manpower built up is there, required, sourcing and selling, shipping and chartering. So simultaneously, we have to uh, activate this, LC documentation, legal and trans you know, administration. So bulk liquid, hiring the storage tanks, ZNPT and all these ports are uh, available in India. You can add upon also. Many people want to put the specialty capacity also. So they can put also. So simultaneously all business can go. Then stock point for the, uh, you know, the dry cargo, you can have into every metropolitan city's storage. So once these petrochemicals and polymers one polymer you are doing PVC, then you get into another polymer and like that. And these are the bitumen, we are already doing it, MTO, suppose not doing, or FO, you are doing it. So these are the, your baseline product. Then you can get into other products also, if you have an appetite for it. So this is what is whole presentation. So only one slide will show of methanol. Yes, so methanol slide, can we show that? Only one slide, how much deep you have to go the market research. This is actually what we have done a few years back, 10, 15 years, 20 years back. And then now the applications have come real, realistically and being used as an octane improver, cetane improver, and all these kind of products. So you can find this, you know, these are each products by itself then. So formaldehyde, DMT, acetic acid. So methanol downstream is acetic. And then from acetic, how many products you can make? So even you can put these plants, or if you don't have, you can get it from India or other country. MMA, pesticides, so as a solvents, as MTB, tame, and monomethyl acrylate, you can make it sheets and ABS and other products, and developmental products are always there, like fuel cells. 20 years back, we thought that this will concept will come. I mentioned, I think, see, 2005, it was updated. But after that, even after 20 years, fuel cells of methanol has not come. But the day it will come, it will replace all hydrogen, electric, whatever other vehicles, and it will work upon that. Thank you very much. And uh, I think I have another presentation also, but I will not show now, not bombard you too much. But uh, how is it? Have you been given a different dimension what you can do? If you have any questions, or please uh, come forward quickly so that she can take over. Any questions or uh, whether you want to get into this business, then maybe after the lecture also you can meet me and whatever I know I can share with you. Thank you very much. Thank you.